Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous session, we have seen uh, creating web services with Vortex Web. So today we'll see some little more like um, different method types like post, port, patch, delete, all those stuff. And then we'll see um, path parameters and query parameters. Uh, okay uh, let's not waste our time let's begin the coding guys if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and all these programs whatever i'm showing so i have I've been committing to github and then the link i'm providing in the description for your reference you can use that if you feel it will be useful okay let us start the uh, Thing. So in the previous session, so we have seen we have created one web service. The path of that is get customers. So um, now what I'll do is I'll create one web service, which is create customers. So for that I'm using post. Our uh, in general right put is for creation. Post is for updation. Put is for put for creation, and then post for update, and then we have uh, patch. Patch is also partial update. Partial update, and then we have delete. It is self-explanatory. Self so there are some copy all those methods generally we use mostly this get put post patch and delete okay so uh, now uh, instead of post i'll put for create customers as of now we are not creating anything so uh, when you give put or post or whatever it is so what we need to do is we have it'll have a, that request will have a request body so for that we have something called body dot handler so we can do like this again handle handle handler so here body there is one handler called body handler in vertex guys you be careful in java.net also there will be a handler you have to choose only vertex handler dot create and then here if you do like this then you will be whatever the uh, body you will pass right you will be able to read how to read that body context dot get body as json so you can choose any of this body as json json array as string whatever the format whatever the thing which you are passing so here i am going to change it as create customer so here this is my customer right customer so i'll change this so this i'll make as result response so response dot put so here also I'll put. so the message i wanted to send successfully created cust customer created successfully customer created successfully and this is the message i wanted to respond back so this uh, for now i'll just put a sop customer so here customer that two string I'll do so whatever I got right so got got the customer okay this is what uh, it will print so if you see here broadly what I am doing so <clears throat> between the get request and post put or post request 
this will be extra thing which is a body handler so as because we'll have we'll be passing body and these are all things <clears throat> so how to read the content of the body so this section and then this am as usual responding back this is the response i'm giving it back so this i will run it so how to run it so we have i have configured this right as a java application using the launcher i am launching it so using the run command so launcher has a run so you have to give the full structure of the uh, our bootstrap class and running it so this is listening on 8080 port guys right so this is has, this has been successfully deployed now so it is listening on 8080 now this is the create customer so let us uh, test this how to test this so uh, we have to have postman postman or some tool so for make it more easy chrome is having extensions okay so chrome is, is having extensions so you can uh, add an extension called uh, postman okay chrome is having extensions you can add one extension called postman so this postman i have already i have added the extension so now um, i'll call the thing so this is my http localhost and 8080 so here um, i need to give create customer right this is the um, one and here in the body i'm giving uh, id as 1234 and name as I, this time i'll give my daughter's name sana okay so this if i make a request it should print here should print here the object which i am passing here and then here the message which i am writing here so the rest message is customer created successfully it should come here right so now let us push this send click on send so see guys we got the response message customer created successfully so here we got the object which we have passed id 1234 and name equals to sana so this is how we uh, write the put method so similarly we can uh, have uh, post method so post so we can give post also uh, here i'll give update customer and then uh, i'll give patch so here i'll give the path as patch customer and then i'll give delete delete customer these are the uh, methods of uh, request type methods so http methods right so our http method different methods i am trying to show so now if you change it to post so i have changed the code right i have to stop and start it so i am starting it again so now if i wanted to use the post method so i will need to give update customer that is the path right for post method update customer so uh, internally this i have not changed this will remain same the type of method will change so now let us uh, try this again the same thing it should happen let's see we got uh, this got the customer so if you want you can put on sap so um, i'll put on a system stack this so i'll say post method call see um, we don't need to do that because it is clearly uh, having the path if you give some wrong path it will not work let's see i'll give this this is a wrong path this is not found so we give the exact path only it will be able to listen so similarly i have um, patch 
so here I need to give catch customer and then see it is doing the same and then finally delete so here I'll choose the method type as delete so this will also do um, did I give the name so here I have not created delete customer that's the reason it was not it was giving for resource not found so now I'll restart again by that it should be able to do the same so delete customer so it is able to call what it right so this is how uh, we do the um, different methods so the next topic is um, next topic is path params and query params guys so uh, we'll do it in the next video because the length of the video is going more than 10 minutes i'll do it in the next video stay tuned to my channel please subscribe to my channel if you have not thank you guys bye bye